who am I? Hi, I'm Dexter and welcome to my channel where I discuss all things Caribbean history and genealogy. Thank you so much for your support by watching and sharing my videos. In this video, I want to discuss West Indian identity. Before I jump into the video though, remember to smash that subscribe button. People from the West Indies and its diaspora maintain distinct cultural identities heavily influenced by several cultures due to multiple waves of voluntary and involuntary migration into the region for more than 500 years. Over the centuries, the region has been shaped by close interactions between various groups, indigenous peoples, Africans, Europeans, South Asians, East Asians, and Sephardic Jewish communities. In the 20th century, we also saw the arrival of the people coming from the Levant region, particularly from Lebanon. These interactions have resulted in a unique blend of cultural influences which have shaped the region's art, music, food, language and social customs. Identity and culture are complex and multidimensional concepts shaped by various factors Characteristics like ethnicity, language, values, religion, gender, sexual identity, socioeconomic status, and all of these lived experiences form parts of our individual identity. Now, culture refers to shared um, characteristics and anything you know, as a physical manifestation of this, which could be art or whatnot. Combining culture and identity together, it's dynamic, and it's an evolving concept that's influenced by contemporary and historical events and your experiences and perspectives. Cultural identity can provide a sense of belonging and connection to one's community, family, and ancestors. West Indian culture is a rich and diverse amalgamation of cultures that is expressed in our art, music, dance, food, language, dialects, folklore, and literature. But you're watching this video, so you don't need any convincing of this. But you will know by now that I you now always want to drill deeper. The diversity of the West Indies results from a complex history that spans centuries of subjugation, colonialism, enslavement and migration, acts of genocide, religious persecution and social, cultural erasure mixed in for good measure. Bearing this in mind, what does it mean to be a West Indian? Apart from trauma, what unites us and creates a shared consciousness? What permeates through ethnicity, social class and national borders throughout the diaspora? Now stay with me, I know I'm getting philosophical now, but this is a question that has fascinated me for my entire life. West Indians, we come in all shapes and hues and something magical just happens when we recognize one another. Now, using a particular phrase can trigger a knowing smile in your head when you say, Oh, you want a wee? Those of you in the diaspora know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, leave a comment below and tell me how people tell you they're West Indian without telling you that they're West Indian. So, what is it that ignites that feeling? That intangible thing, that feeling, that moment, that is West Indian identity. We love to talk, fet, laugh, and we're naturally nosy and always generally, you know, want to know everything about you because, well, we have pools of empathy. Now, in my research, I draw from my identity to interpret nuances in historical documents and come to a common theme in researching the West Indies. Sometimes, what is not said is more telling than what is said. We must, of course, be careful not to project modern sensibilities or points of view onto the past, but we can certainly recognize customs and traditions from the past that persist to this day. 
that is a huge asset in piecing together a complex story. It feels instinctive and rather difficult to explain to others how I make certain connections, but it just can go even go deeper than that because our culture comes from so many places. So as I travel to different parts of the world and experience different cultures, I also feel an intuitive connection with that culture as it forms part of my West Indian cultural identity. For example, I quickly recognize the cadence of some difficult to understand regional accents in the UK, like Northern Irish. I distinctively understand references to animism in Europa or Akan or Polynesian culture. Hi, Black Panther or Moana. An ability to understand and see part of your identity across a variety of cultures, I think it's a superpower, a West Indian superpower. The difficult bit now, now reflecting on complex and this, you know, confronting history, West Indians must acknowledge that we would not exist without colonialism and therefore we must know our history. Understanding our ancestors as individuals and the depth and the you know, variety there, it's part of our collective story and we must understand that yes there was struggle but it was survival as well against adversity now there are different theories about how we form identities and i would resist going down a rabbit hole of psychodynamic versus self-perception theory but considering identity and culture when researching genealogy and history in the west indies i think it is essential and it will help you understand the circumstances of your ancestors now the elephant in the room is slavery now, not to trivialize this brutal system, but there is so much more to the West Indies than slavery. You have to think of the time of enslavement as more of a state-enforced, legalized system and social construct under which our ancestors lived. People still lived life under this regime, and sometimes life, well, it, was, it got messy. Some people who were enslaved, they had defined roles and skills and specializations that added great value to communities. You know, how do you think all those plantation houses, windmills, canals and irrigation systems and some of the sea vessels were built and maintained? I mean, our ancestors built them. I say all of this to encourage you to research and document your story because your story is part of our story. And with this knowledge comes the strength and self-confidence required to thrive. Now, if you like this video, you know what to do. Thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next one.